Hallo Sam. Once upon a time, far away from the city, Mother Goat and her seven kids lived happily in a farm in the forest. The animals that lived in this farm had no owners, so they ran the farm themselves. Every year, one of them would be nominated president. The animals would produce their own food and live together in harmony. They respected one another and tried to do the right thing. Doing so helped avoid any conflicts in the farm. Mother Goat's job was to collect milk from every animal that produced milk, and she sold it in the market. She brought the money to the president so they could use it for the farm's needs. That year was Dog's turn to be president. He was responsible for the farm's security. From time to time, things disappeared in the farm. Everyone knew it was Dog's fault, but nobody dared to say anything because they were scared of his bark and big teeth. Unwillingly, the animals handed over management to Dog with a ceremony. I don't trust the dog. He still hasn't found the thief who stole our eggs recently. He never even looked for them. It'll be a tough year. Everyone knew that Dog and the bad wolf who lived in the forest were good friends. We should all be on our guard. We all have children. No way! He wouldn't give our children to the wolf. Either way, we should take precaution. He might not be good at his job, but he won't betray us. <laughs> we'll see about that. While the farm animals talked among them, Dog was enjoying his new post. Everything was going well in the first few days. The animals went back to their jobs and business was running as usual. There was nothing to worry about. One night, Mother Goat was awoken by screams, and she immediately went outside to see what was going on. My children! My babies! They're gone! What's going on? Bad wolf kidnapped all the chicks! But how did this happen? They all approached Dog. His snores were so loud that they resonated all across the farm. Mother Goat knocked on the kennel's door. The dog didn't wake up. I know what to do. Upon hearing roosters crowing, Dog got startled and hit his head in the kennel ceiling, thinking it was morning. What? What? What's happening? What kind of president are you? Bad Wolf kidnapped all my chicks while you slept soundly. Calm down, everyone. Maybe the chicks went for a walk. At this hour? It seems somebody helped Bad Wolf. No way. 
You can't look after your children. Are you not the president? We're supposed to come to you when we have problems. Everybody back to bed. We'll look for the chicks in the morning. All animals went back to bed worried. Something fishy is going on around here. We have to be careful. The next morning, under Dog's leadership, they searched for the chicks in vain. It seemed as if the poor chicks had vanished into thin air. All farm animals looked for the chicks until late in the evening. But they came back to the farm empty-handed. Mother Chicken was sobbing. No need for despair. You can always lay more eggs. Upon hearing this, Mother Chicken lunged at Dog and pecked him many times. That was what Dog had wanted. So he locked Mother Chicken in the coop. All farm animals went to bed early due to exhaustion. After they fell asleep, Dog sneaked out of his kennel and opened the farm gates. In the darkness, Big Bad Wolf turned up. Where have you been? I've been waiting for hours. I had to make sure everyone was asleep. You think it's so easy to fool everyone in such a big farm? Fine, fine. Cut it short. What do you want this time? The goat kids. They cost a lot more. The big bad wolf gave all he had in his wallet to Dog. <laughs> there we go. Just show me the goat's place already. The wolf stealthily approached the house where Mother Goat and the kids lived. The bad wolf went directly to Little Goat's room and began putting them in the sack. The startled goat kids huddled quickly and started screaming as their mother had taught them to do in such an emergency. Wolf was shocked, but wasn't about to give up on his prey. He leaped out of the window with the sack on his back and fled. Mother Goat, who had woken up due to her kids' screams, understood what happened and immediately ran after Wolf. Help! He stole my children! Help! Mother Goat, along with Cat and Rooster, began to tail Wolf. Not long after, Wolf disappeared in the darkness of night. Mother Goat sat on a rock and started crying desperately. She heard her baby screams. But unfortunately, she couldn't reach them. Just then, they heard wing flaps above them. Hey, follow me. I can see them. Mr. Owl could see Wolf thanks to his night vision. They followed Owl to Bad Wolf's den. Come on, let's attack the wolf and save them. 
no. We should come up with a plan first. Mr. Owl is faster than us, so while we distract the wolf, he can fly back to the farm and get help. We can all attack and beat the wolf. Owl flew back to the farm. Mother goat, rooster, and cat approached the house window, and they saw wolf and dog shaking hands. Now everything makes sense. What are we going to do now? We'll wait for help to arrive. Meanwhile, the little goats tried to make sense of the situation. The youngest ones were so afraid they began to cry. <laughs> we have to do something. We have to remain calm. Shh! Don't you cry now. Remember what Mom taught us. Stay calm. Be brave. Think and act. Yes, that's right. I have an idea. Listen to me. The little goats kept whispering and giggling among themselves. After their talk, one of them knocked on the locked door. Hey, that wolf! Look over here! The wolf approached the door. What? What do you want, you scoundrels? We have to go to the toilet. Toilet? <laughs> you can hold it in. Be patient. I'm taking you to the market to sell you all. <laughs> Suit yourself, Bat Wolf. There are seven of us. Think of all the mess we're gonna make. Bad Wolf and Dog looked at each other. You're scared of seven kids. Wolf unlocked the door, and they took the kids to the tree across the house in a single file. In the meantime. Mother goat saw what was happening. Come on, do what you have to do, but be quick. Not with you looking at us. Yes, you have to turn around. Fine, fine. Be quick. As soon as they turned around, one of the kids rammed wolf and the other I... rammed dog. So hard that they were startled. The other kids began to butt the two accomplices. There's my babies. Come on, it's our turn now. Cat leaped out of the tree where he had been hiding and lunged at Wolf and scratched him. Rooster pecked at Dog's head with all his strength. The last hit came from Mother Goat, with a mighty headbutt that sent both Wolf and Dog all over the ground. Rooster and Mother Goat were so happy to be reunited with their children. Rooster took his chicks under his wing to warm them up. Mother Goat hugged her kids and kissed each and every one of them. My dear children, I'm so proud of all of you. Owl took all the farm animals to the scene. There they are. Mother goat told the animals everything. Everyone learned a lesson from it. From now on, the president of the farm was to be selected instead of taking turns. There would also be a farm council in which the farm animals would be able to make sure the president is doing a good job.
they also decided to kick Dog out of the farm. Mother Goat was elected as the president because of her courage. Everybody returned to their home and lived happily ever after, except for Wolf and Dog. Once upon a time, far away from the city, Mother Goat and her seven little goats lived happily in a farm in the forest. One day, the farm animals woke up to something that sounded like grunts coming from the forest. They had never heard this before. Mom? I don't know, dear. We'll find out soon enough. Mom, I'm scared. Me too. These sounds are scary. Mother Goat put on some clothes so she could go outside and find out what was going on. Stay here and wait for me. Do not open the door for strangers. Understand? Understood. Mother Goat left home and went to meet with the other animals of the farm. But the noises were getting louder and scarier. The scared little goats hid under the table. We have to find out where those grunts are coming from. Chickens aren't laying eggs, and cows are not producing milk because they're afraid. Yes, we have to find a solution immediately. Otherwise, we'll starve to death. Just then, the noise stopped. And everything went back to normal. Hooray! It's gone! Everything's back to normal! Still, we should look into it. Is that really necessary? See, it's gone! What if it happens again? We'll find a solution then! Don't be so pessimistic! Come on everybody! Get to work! All animals went back to work as if nothing had happened. The next day, they woke up to those dreadful sounds again. Like the day before, the sounds died down at noon. Nobody but Mother Goat was worried. Mother Goat was bewildered. But there was nothing she could do. Concerned, she went home where the little goats were awaiting her. Mom, what's happening? We don't know, honey. There's no one doing anything. Crestfallen mother goat looked down. It was upsetting not knowing what to tell her kids. As it got dark, everyone at the farm went to sleep. Seven pairs of eyes were wide open in the dark. The kids couldn't sleep. We have to figure this out. But how? Investigate and head in the direction where we heard the noise. The guard won't let us out this late at night. But how do we get out without being seen? I have an idea. Listen to me. The old guard was dozing off. Suddenly, 
he saw three big silhouettes approaching. He immediately stood up and pointed the flashlight at them. The little goats were wearing mother goat's clothes. They had climbed on top of each other so they could look bigger. Who are you? Where are you going at this hour? We are craving fresh grass. There's none left at home. I can't let you out at this late. It's dangerous out there. If we don't eat, we won't have the strength to work tomorrow. Right, girls? The guard didn't know what to say. It was the first time he had to deal with something like this. All right, you can go, but come back quickly. The mischievous little goats disappeared into the night. They got off of each other behind the first tree and went toward where the noise came from during the day. They walked for a long time. And finally, they arrived at an empty field illuminated by huge lamps. There was heavy equipment, building materials, and chopped down trees everywhere. This doesn't look good. We should tell Mom about this. No, you won't be telling anyone. I'll chop every tree in the forest and sell the lumber. I'll be very rich. You nosy brats can't stop me. We should have guessed. The wolf tied the little goats firmly and locked them in a room. The poor kids were so scared, but they didn't show their fear in front of the wolf. We have to get out. How? We must stop the wolf from destroying the whole forest. Can anyone think of something? There, we'll be free. First, they nibbled on the ropes, just as their mother had taught them. The ones who broke free helped free the others. Then, they climbed on top of one another to reach the air vent and climbed out. There was no one in sight, but they could hear the wolf snoring. The little goat sent two of their siblings back to the farm to tell others about it. If he cuts down all the trees, all the creatures in the forest will die too. We must stop him. How? They huddled and whispered their plan to each other. Meanwhile, two of the little goats reached the farm. Unfortunately, the old guard had fallen asleep, so they couldn't get inside. The fence was too high for them to jump over it. The little goats came up with a solution. While one crouched, the other one got on top of its back to jump over the fence. Come on, inside! The two little goats ran to their house and woke their mum up. They told her everything they had seen and what had happened to them. Let's get to work. Meanwhile, at the construction site, two little goats found glue among the building materials and poured it all over the wolf who was sleeping. The 
other three little goats climbed on the backhoe, an excavating machine. While one operated the steering wheel, the other one sat on the brake and accelerator pedal. The third one operated the machine's massive loader. The little goat that operated the steering wheel turned on the ignition and the machine roared to life. The little goats were nervous, but they were determined to put their plan into action. The little goat in charge of the pedals pushed down the accelerator and the machine started to gain speed. The third little goat operated the machine's loader. The wolf woke up when he heard the noise. He immediately realized what was happening. You miserable goats, so you managed to escape! No matter how hard the wolf tried, he couldn't get up. He didn't understand what was holding him back. In a final effort, he lunged forward and his fur got stuck to the bed due to the glue the little goats had poured. The wolf ran after the backhoe. He stopped in front of it just as the machine was about to enter the area where all the lumber and chopped trees were. Stop right there, you miserable goats! The little goats brought the machine to a sudden stop. The wolf looked back and noticed his back fur was gone. We got him! Hooray for teamwork! At that moment, all the farm animals led by Mother Goat arrived at the construction site and they were appalled at what they saw. Congratulations, my kids. You helped avoid a huge disaster from happening. They cleaned up the site and planted new trees to make the area green again. What about the bad wolf? He's still running all around the forest without his fur. I'll make you pay for this, you miserable little goats! You'll pay! Once upon a time, far away from the city, Mother Goat and her seven kids lived happily in a farm in the forest. All animals worked hard in the farm and lived in harmony, supporting one another. The division of work in the farm ran smoothly. Everybody did their part willingly. Of course, after all this hard work, a vacation was earned. Mother Goat was looking forward to going on holiday with her kids. The little goats were dreaming about their holiday. I wonder where Mom is taking us this year. 
I wonder that too. I wish we could visit a far away historical city. I would like to get a nice tan at the beach and go swimming. I want to go hiking, climb rocks and watch the beautiful landscape. I want to go scuba diving and swim with the fish in the deep waters. And I want to get to town in a secluded island and read books. Just then, the door opened. It was Mother Goat. She opened her bag as the curious little goats watched. She got out a big envelope. I got our vacation here. She opened the envelope. There were eight tickets. Are we going by train? By play? Where are we going? Not one place, but many. We're going on a cruise ship. <laughs> the little goats couldn't believe their ears and began to dance happily. It's going to be a great holiday. See that? The ship even has a pool. With a slide. Hooray! Holiday! Here we come. <laughs> We're leaving tomorrow. Everybody prepare their own luggage. We should go to bed early tonight. The little goats prepared their luggage excitedly and went to bed early. They all dreamed the same dream. A huge floating entertainment center with pools and game areas. They arrived at the port. The ship was much bigger than they had imagined. Meanwhile, a pair of eyes was watching the little goats from afar. It was none other than the big bad wolf. He was thinking about how to devour those happy, clueless little goats. <laughs> so, you're going to rob the ship then, you miserable little goats. So am I. We'll see what you'll do when you've got no place to hide in the middle of the sea. <laughs> It was departure time, and the little goats were so excited to visit the most beautiful islands. The ship finally left the port. People waving on the dock noticed that there was a stowaway on the ship. Of course, it was none other than the big bad wolf. Sneering, waving back abaft. Once the ship sailed in the open sea, Wolf sneaked into the ship's stores to hide for a while. While Mother Goat was tanning, the little goats were running around on the very huge deck. Some were jumping in the pool and some used the pool slides. They were having a great time. Wolf left his hiding place wearing a disguise after a while. He could now blend in with the others. The bad wolf was walking back and forth by the pool, thinking about how to get his hands on the little goats. Then, he saw Mother Goat laying down by the pool. You silly wolf! Why bother with seven little goats? 
the mother would be enough. He knew he had to come up with a plan at once. He began plotting. All right, got it. <laughs> A few minutes later, a voice blared on the ship's loudspeakers. That voice was in fact very familiar. Mrs. Mother Goat! Mrs. Mother Goat! You are expected at the restroom! Oh, not that. You are expected at the ship's store immediately! Mother Goat got up when she heard Wolf's fake announcement. Keep playing, children. I'll be back in a minute. Look after my belongings. However, the little goats were suspicious of the situation. Am I the only one who thinks this voice is familiar? No, it's really familiar. Something's going on. It's like... Uh, this voice is... Big Bad Wolf! But Mother Goat didn't hear them and disappeared. The little goats got out of the pool immediately. We have to do something now! There has to be a way to earn Mother. You two, try to find where Mother went. The others stay with me. Two little goats went after their mother at once. The other goats went to the stateroom to alert the captain about the situation. There was a sailor at the entrance of the stateroom. What's up, kids? Lost your way? No! We have to see the captain immediately! What is it so important that you little kids want to see the captain? There's a wolf on board! Ha 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 ha! A wolf on board! <laughs> and he's after our mother! Ha 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 ha! So there's a wolf on board and he's after your mother! <laughs> you don't believe us? Come on, kids, go play somewhere else. The captain has more important things to deal with. Crestfallen, the poor kids left the stateroom and went back to the deck. It seems we're gonna have to take care of it on our own. The little goats that went after Mother finally found her. Bad Wolf had trapped Mother Goat in the ship's store. We have to save our mother. Be quiet. Wolf could be around. Now you're doomed. Bad Wolf captured one of the little goats, but the other one was fast and managed to escape. His heart was beating fast in his chest from fear. Quick, help! What's going on? Bad Wolf captured our brother too! Oh no! What can we do now? We'll save them! But how? I have a plan! What are our chances against the big wolf? He's just so strong and huge. He may be strong, but we can beat him using our brain. Remember, Mother always says, reason is superior to brute strength. True. Let's get to work then. The little goats huddled to come up with a plan to save their mother and sibling. 
Just then, Wolf had tied the little goat up next to Mother Goat. Don't be scared, my child. We'll get out of here. The little goat intended to save Mother Goat and their siblings before dinner time. Or else it'd be too late. They went to the ship's door immediately. Once they got there, they began to shout as loud as they could. Soon after, Wolf got out to see what was going on. Not only my dinner, but a whole month's food is here. Wolf opened the door suddenly and lunged at the little goats. But the goats knew Wolf would fall for this trick, so they run fast. Wolf chased after them. There was a lot of running around on the ship's hallways. The little goat skidded to a stop in front of an ajar door and went inside. Wolf did the same too and shut the door behind him. But to his surprise, Wolf found many children running toward him instead. Wolf then realized the little goats had tricked him, but it was too late. The children lunged at Wolf, some were tugging his tail, some were biting on his ear, and some took him for a pillow and hugged him tightly. Then, a child pulled Wolf's whiskers forcefully, so Wolf ran for his life and threw himself into the sea. Reason proved once more to be superior than brute strength. Mother Goat and the Little Goats happily continued their holiday. Once upon a time, seven little goats lived happily and peacefully with their mother in a little town. This town was surrounded by green mountains where all creatures lived in peace and happiness. They always enjoyed sunny days that warmed everyone's hearts. Every animal in the town was hard working. Mother Goat was this cute town's doctor. The seven little goats went to school with their friends every morning. I am so excited today! Me too! The results for the scout auditions are finally here! I want to be a scout and go camping. I wonder if our teacher is going to choose all of us. I think he will. We are the ones who want to be scouts the most. The seven little goats entered the school garden. Good morning, kids. I will read the results of the auditions without delaying any longer. The selections were made. The seven little goats were picked because they were so eager to get in and they did their research about scouting. It's important that you have everything you need. I want you to get prepared according to the list I'm giving you now. Yes, teacher! A week seemed to go slowly for the little goats. 
In the meantime, they gathered everything their teacher had said. Camping day finally arrived. Yay! We're going camping today! We've got everything ready, right? Kids, I have a surprise for you. Since there's always a probability of accidents happening at the campsite, your teacher asked me to come along too. Yay! They all met with their friends at school to leave for the camp. All right, kids, if everyone ready, we can leave. Yes, yes teacher! teacher. They reached the camping area after an hour's walk. Everyone split into groups and set up their tents. It's such a beautiful place, so green, so many butterflies. Yes, I love chasing after butterflies. All right, kids, you all must be so tired. Let's prepare some food together and eat. The campfire was lit. It was time for every little scout's favorite, cooking in the campfire. Everyone sat by the fire and listened to the scoutmasters telling stories. They all had so much fun. Everyone was so tired that as soon as they finished their meals, they went into their tents and fell asleep. Three little goats woke up with the first rays of sunlight. They decided to scout the area nearby. trees on the way here. I think we can pick some fruits for breakfast. All right, but we shouldn't go too far. The three little goats left the campsite without making a sound. You see that butterfly over there? Yes, it has great colors. I love how it flutters. Didn't you see the fruit trees? The cherries look delicious! Let's pick them and head back. Just then, they heard a rustling among the bushes. Startled, they all looked in that direction. Our friend Gazelle is here too. I wonder what she's doing here. Shush! I think I saw a big gray silhouette. Oh no, it's the big bad wolf. We can warn her by throwing the fruits. Gazelle realized something was off and saw wolf. She got away in fear. At that moment, Wolf noticed the little goats. They started throwing the fruits towards Wolf's direction. What are you doing here, you little brats? We just came to pick some fruits. We have to head back now. Our mother and our teacher must be looking for us by now. Is that so? Your mother and your teacher will look for you a little longer. You should have thought about this before scaring Gazelle away. Bad Wolf lunged to capture the three little goats. But the little goats were faster and managed to escape. Except for one. Oh no! We have to save 
save our brother. Okay, but how can only the two of us do it? We don't know where Bad Wolf is taking our brother. How we will find them? You're right. We have to go back immediately and get help. Meanwhile, everyone at the campsite had woken up. Mother Goat and the teacher realized that the three little goats were missing and went to look for them with others. Just as the little goats argued about what they should do, they heard the voice of their mum and their teacher. Mom! Mom mommy. mommy! Teacher! We couldn't save our brother. Bad Wolf has him. We have to go after them. They went this way. All right. We must keep calm. We should act as fast as possible. They went in the direction Bad Wolf had gone. They were thinking about how to trick Wolf and save the little goat on the way. Thankfully, the campsite was on a high place. So it wasn't so hard for them to pick up Wolf's trail. They followed him stealthily at a distance. Come on, inside! Please, let me go. I'll never be in your way again. Everyone is probably worried. Quiet now. You should have thought about this before. It's too late now. While they tried to devise a plan, they ran into the lion. Lion was chief of police, so they were happy to see him and told him what had happened. Bad Wolf, I've been on his tail for some time now. I haven't been able to catch him red-handed. We are so happy to see you. We should approach quietly. Wolf's ears are so acute. If he hears us, he may get away again. We are so close. I can hear his voice. Oh, my baby must be so afraid. Now listen to me, little goat. I need you to knock on the door. Wolf will be so happy to see you and let you in. I'll sneak around the house and enter through the window. Mother goat and teacher, wait at the front door not to let him get away. Who is it? We are lost. Could you let us in? Wolf's eyes twinkled. Today must be my lucky day, he thought. Oh, how nice to have such guests. Come on inside, there's no need to be afraid. See, your brother is here too. <laughs> the little goats walked towards the room. At that moment, Lion watched them through the window and waited for the right opportunity. The wolf had a wicked grin on his face and he drooled all over the floor. <laughs> I got you all now! <laughs> Mother Goat and Teacher knocked on the door on Lion Signal. What now? How many more little goats are there? <laughs> Mother Goat and Teacher 
Just as Wolf was about to open the door, Lion lunged at him. Wolf managed to escape his grip. I've been after you for some time, Bad Wolf. Come here! This is not fair! Where did you come from now? As Wolf ran, trying to escape from Lion, one of the little goats extended his leg in front of Wolf. He tripped over it and fell. The power of little goats! Come on, let's get Bad Wolf! All at once, the little goats attacked Wolf. Some pulled his tail and others bit his ear and nose. The lion took the wolf from the little goats. He subdued him and locked him up in the cage. It's over, bad wolf. You'll never hurt anybody again. Where are you going to take him? Somewhere he can think about what he's done and cannot hurt anyone till he comes to his senses. Thank you. You saved them. Don't thank me. Thank those kids. They're intelligent and very brave, not to mention they make a good team. The lion walked away with Wolf. The little scouts went back to the campsite and had a fun time. Of course, now they never go far away from their mum. Once upon a time, Mother Goat and her seven little goats lived happily in a seacoast town with lush vegetation. The seven little goats walked to school happily every morning. They held hands as they walked to school. What's going on? School trip! School trip! School trip? Where? to a faraway place, Paris. Paris? As in Paris, France. Yes! The little goats were so excited about this trip that they couldn't wait to go home and give their mother the good news. Whoever gets home first tells our mother the news. They all ran home as fast as they could, and when they finally arrived, their hearts were pounding loud. Mom! 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 What's going on? There's a school trip to Paris. That's great. You should do some research about Paris at once. Where can we get information on Paris, Mommy? We'll look for some information on the internet. The next day, they printed out the information and read it. Wow! The world's largest museum is in Paris, and it's called Louvre! We have to visit it for sure! But we can't see every inch of it! Why not? It's as big as 10 soccer fields! If we looked at every piece of artwork for a minute, it would take us 73 days to see everything! But there's one masterpiece we must see! Mona Lisa! Wow! I'm so excited! How about this? There are 470,000 trees in Paris. That's a lot. 
Also, there are 173 museums and 450 parks. Such a city of culture! Let's not forget the Eiffel Tower in Notre Dame. Millions of tourists visit these places every year. <laughs> I was just reading about it. We must definitely see both. Let's add these to our notes. We'll give them to our teacher tomorrow. The little goats jotted down the information until late that evening. Next morning, they told their teacher about what they had learned. Good job, kids. I'll create our itinerary based on your notes. The time for their Paris trip had finally arrived. The little goats went to bed early that night, but they couldn't sleep. They tossed and turned in their beds. They went to the airport. They were so excited to get on the plane for the first time. The flight was uneventful. The students chatted. Just then, one of the little goats couldn't help noticing a familiar face sitting in the back row, trying to disguise himself. When she looked closely, she realised it was Bad Wolf. He was wearing a fake moustache and glasses, but his long ears and sharp teeth gave him away. Hey, look at the back row without being too obvious. Isn't that the bad wolf? No way! What is he doing here? I wonder what he's up to. Oh no! They probably recognized me. What are these little ghosts doing here anyway? I have to hide now. The bad wolf crawled out of his seat and to the lavatory. He didn't come out until the plane landed. As soon as they arrived in Paris, they went to their hotel. The bad wolf stalked them as he smiled maliciously. <laughs> so we meet again. Have fun while you can, you miserable little ghost. He who laughs last, laughs best. <laughs> the first stop of the trip was the Eiffel Tower. They stood under the tower with mouths agape because of the tower's height. Let's climb the tower and watch the scenery. The scenery from atop was beautiful and everything looked so tiny. After they ate some food, they went straight to the Louvre Museum. Why is it so crowded, teacher? Museums are places filled with valuable pieces, so people like to visit them. Museums shed light upon world history. After waiting in a queue, they bought tickets and entered the museum. The bad wolf was not far behind as he stalked them closely. The little goats roamed the museum. The little goats roamed the museum. They stopped before every piece and shared the information with their friends. Their teacher was so proud of them. At the end of such a delightful museum visit, 
they stopped in front of the most valuable piece in the museum, the Mona Lisa painting. The bad wolf used the crowd to his advantage to get even closer to the little goats. One of the little goats was telling her friend about Mona Lisa. You miserable little goats! Now you're done! I knew it! It was the bad wolf back on the plane! The little goat scampered away, screaming, and the scene was chaotic. Mayhem broke out, as other visitors in the museum also joined in, not knowing what was going on. But the bad wolf stayed put. His true intentions were different. Taking advantage of the stampede, he stole the Mona Lisa painting and tried to run for the exit. He wanted to sell the painting so he could become rich. In the confusion, nobody saw Bad Wolf stealing the painting. However, the youngest of the little goats saw what had happened. He knew he had to stop the big Bad Wolf. Brothers, sisters, follow my voice so you can find me. The other little goats heard the youngest goat's voice and immediately went to him. Are you okay? Did that wretch hurt you? No, he is not here to hurt us. Whoa, why is he running away? What's that in his hand? His plan was to use us to create diversion and steal that valuable painting. We have to bring the painting back. What does the wolf hate the most? <laughs> Taking a bath, of course. We all know how stinky he is. <laughs> then let's give him a bath. How? You've got your slingshot with you? Yes. How about your marbles? Of course. Listen to me closely, then. After they finished scheming their plan, two little goats ran after the wolf. The goat that had the slingshot shot a marble at the fire sprinklers in the hallway where the wolf was running. The sprinklers went off as soon as the marble hit. The wolf was caught by surprise. What's going on? Where did all this water come from? I hate getting wet! The other marble coming from the slingshot triggered another sprinkler. The floor was flooded. The bad wolf slipped and fell to the ground, along with the painting. The museum guards arrested the wolf right away. Leonardo da Vinci's famous painting, The Mona Lisa, was hung back to its original place. Later that day, the museum's manager gave a speech to congratulate the seven little goats for their heroic act and presented them with beautiful gifts. When they returned to their town, their mother and townspeople were so proud of them They carried the little goats on their shoulders to the school. And what about the bad wolf? At first, he stayed in the hospital for a long time. He was charged with grand theft. So, as punishment, he had to mop the museum floors for a whole year. He regretted what he'd done. But it was too late.
Once upon a time, seven little goats lived happily with their mother in a cute green town where the sun was always bright. The seven little goats went to the town school every day. They loved the school. Their teacher and their friends. One day, before classes began, they started playing volleyball in the garden. Kids, please calm down. There's no need to be unpleasant towards each other. Gather around. I've got some good news for you. We'll start playing matches in big cities in order to qualify for the National League. Yay! We'll have to train harder from now on. Our first match is next week. Remember that you must play like a team if you want to win. We will keep that in mind. The seven little goats got their backpacks excitedly and went home. Hello, kids! Mom! Mom guess what guess happened, what happened today? today? What happened? Tell me, but one at a time, please. Mommy, our coach told us we'll play against other schools next week in order to play in the National League. This is great news. I'm so proud of you kids. Now, I'll prepare your favorite meal. Hooray! In the meantime, do your homeworks. Do not waste any time. A week went by. They were ready for the match after having trained hard every day. They decided to do one last practice match with a neighboring town's team. All right, everybody ready? You're going to be late for school. You've got your equipment, right, kids? Yes, yes Mom! Mom. Don't, 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 don't worry. worry! The little goats walked to school. Reminding one another about their tasks and what to do in the match. All right, kids. I believe in you. You trained so hard and trusted each other. Now, we'll play our last practice match. Meanwhile, Wolf was plotting a scheme. He didn't like team games because he always wanted to steal the spotlight. If you're ready, let's begin our last practice match. Yes! The match was going well, but then Bad Wolf spiked the ball intentionally and hit one of the little goat's face so hard that the little goat fell to the ground. They stopped the match. Everybody got worried and they circled the little goat. Step aside, kids. The doctor will examine him now. Everything's going to be okay. The doctor examined the little goat. The kid was recovering from the blow. Don't worry, kids. It's nothing serious. He just needs some rest. He can play again in three days. I can play in his place. I'm much better than him anyway. Uh, uh, I'm all right. Don't worry about me. I got hit on the face, but I don't remember the rest. I know what happened. I've had my eye on you for a while. You only think about yourself and do not believe in teamwork. 
I don't want any players hurting one another. I don't tolerate such behavior. I won't have bad sportsmanship in my team. Therefore, you cannot play in our team. Wolf didn't know what to do. He packed his things without saying a word and walked away. Now we are short a player, but do not fret. Our substitute players have trained as hard as you have and are ready for the match. Thank you, coach. I'll do my best. The little goats went home excitedly. They ate dinner and went to bed. They dreamed of the championship. Come on, kids, it's time to get up. Today, it's your first match of the championship. Mommy, we are not late, are we? No, dear. Don't worry, there's still time. Mom, I can't find my sneakers. <laughs> we packed our things last night, remember? Mom, we are ready. We are ready. I wish you good luck. I believe you'll win as long as you believe in yourselves and the importance of teamwork. Love you all. It was time for the match. The little goats played well on the court and won the match. Yay! We are, we are such, such a great team. Great team! Our little brother was not bad at all. You did better than I expected, children. Congratulations! We have five more important matches ahead of us. There will be one match every week, and each time we'll play on a different court. Now, let's go back to the town and keep training for the championship. Mommy! Mommy we we won our first match. Match. match! That's great news! I'm so happy, kids! I'm so proud of you! We play one match every week. I'm so tired that I just want to go to bed. But I'm also starving. <laughs> of course, it's not easy what you did. You used up all your energy. Food is ready. Let's set the table together and eat. Weeks pass by quickly. The little goats won every match. They were eagerly awaiting the final match. Meanwhile, Bad Wolf refused to stay on the sidelines. So, he managed to get a player position in the final match. I can't wait to see the little goats' faces when they see me on the court. <laughs> Fortunately, I found a coach who knows what a good player I am. I'm going to teach them a lesson this time. <laughs> The day of the final match was here. The coach huddled the players to give them a few strategies. Do you see what I'm seeing? I can't believe it! How did this happen? This is the championship match, kids. Don't let anything bring you down. <laughs> now I'm going to show you the real champion. The match started and Bad Wolf, with the advantage of his height, began to score for his team. The poor little goats could neither get any points nor could they prevent Wolf from scoring. When the first set was over, the opponent team was crushing the little goats team. We have to do something or we'll lose the game! What can we do? Didn't you see how Wolf strikes the ball with such anger? You're overlooking something, kids. What? Wolf is the only active player in the opponent team. So? So, if you all play to stop Wolf, you can beat them. But you need teamwork for that. Remember, a volleyball match consists of three sets. We've got two more sets. I have a plan. Now listen carefully. The second set began. 
Wolf had the ball and when he went to strike the ball, he was immediately met with the block. He was dumbfounded and the little goat scored the point. Whenever the players of the opponent team tried to step in, Wolf yelled at them to pass the ball to him. The little goats already knew what they had to do. The opponent's team's players got so mad at Wolf that they stepped off the court and left the match. I've never seen anything like this before. So much for teamwork! Wolf was left alone on the court and the little goats won the match easily. Wolf realised his mistake, but it was too late. The little goats held the trophy above their heads proudly. They understood the importance of teamwork that day and went back to their town happily. Once upon a time, Mother Goat and her seven little goats lived happily in a seacoast town with lush vegetation. The seven little goats walked to school happily every morning. Last day of school, finally! Everyone's getting report cards today and a great summer vacation awaits. Hooray! We got our report cards! Let the holidays begin! They rushed through the garden gate and banged on the door all together. When Mother Goat opened the door, the little goats who were leaning on the door fell with a big thud. Looky, looky, who's here? My little goats! We've got our report cards, Mom. We all wanted to be first to show it to you. Look at mine first. No, no, mine first. Since you're officially on vacation, I'll cook your favorite meal to celebrate. Yay! Yay! Tell me, what do you want for dinner? Pizza! 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 pizza. Okay, okay. Pizza it is then. Come on, let's make it together. Yay! Yay! They made a delicious giant pizza together, adding many ingredients. They put it in the oven. When the pizza was ready, it smelled so good. The little goats ate it all. I have a surprise for you, kids. Mm -hmm. I love surprises. I booked a vacation for all of us. A vacation? Where? Where? I decided to take you to London this summer. Yay! Yay! We're, We're going, going to, to London! London! After brushing their teeth, they gathered in the living room and started getting information on London. Whoa, this city is almost 2,000 years old. This city is like an open-air museum. A very long river also runs through it. Oh, look what I found. What did you find? I think the cars in England are broken. Why do you say so? <laughs> Look, the steering wheels are on the wrong side. <laughs> in England, the traffic runs on the other side of the road, which is different from many other countries. I want to go now. Let's go to bed early tonight. We'll get everything ready tomorrow. Then. A great vacation awaits us. They went to purchase train tickets first. It was very crowded at the travel agency. Mommy, is it okay if I wait outside? 
It's so crowded in there. All right, darling, you wait here. Don't talk to strangers. I'll be back soon. Mother Goat was unaware of two prying eyes as she entered the travel agency. The bad wolf was after them as always. Hello, little goat. What are you doing here all alone? I'm not alone. My mom is inside. I'm waiting for her. Is that so? You're such a good boy. I wish every child could be more like you. The little goat trusted the bad wolf's sweet talk and friendliness. Thanks. But my mom told me not to talk to strangers. I'm an old friend of your mother's. I was passing by and I thought I should greet her, but it seems she's busy. So I decided to say hi to you instead. I should let mom know. No, no, let's not disturb her. Tell me, what are you doing here? We're going on vacation tomorrow. We're getting things ready for it. Very nice. Where are you going? London. So you're going to London. I see. I've always wanted to visit that city. So have I. Just then, the bad wolf and mother goat locked eyes. Mother goat realized what was happening and ran to the little goat. Oh, well, uh, I have to go now. Bye-bye. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so close. I almost made it. Ah. Uh. He then got a brilliant idea. He thought he could have the same opportunity in London. Of course. How could I not think of this sooner? The next day, Mother Goat and the seven little goats got on the train. The bad wolf was right behind them in disguise. Wearing a huge hat. The hat was so big that it got stuck in the doors. Such a scene made everyone look at him. Why is everyone looking at me? I'll never know. The wolf sat in a seat with difficulty because of his hat. The little goats enjoyed the train trip. As they watched the scenery and played table games. We're in London! Yay! They went to their hotel and left their luggage. The bad wolf was stalking them. He intended to snatch one of the little goats whenever he got a chance. Then let's go to the world's largest Ferris wheel. But watch out for the opposite traffic. We wouldn't want to have an accident. They went to Big Ben. How tall? Its gong weighs 13 tons. Wow! Their next stop was the magnificent palace where the Queen lives. Mom! Mom! Look! The Queen is waving at us from the balcony! We're 
so lucky to see your majesty, Queen Elizabeth II. Her crown is so big! They had so much fun together. At Hyde Park, they enjoyed the lush vegetation and watching the playful squirrels. They ate lunch by the lake, played ball together and lay down on the grass. All right, it's time for London Eye, the big Ferris wheel. If you're all ready, let's go. We're, We're ready. ready! Mother Goat sensed something was wrong. Then she noticed the youngest goat was missing. Kids, where's your brother? Here. <laughs> Give him back to me, bad wolf. <laughs> Come and get him if you can. <laughs> He's running towards the Ferris wheel. I learned of a shortcut I found on the internet. Follow me. They took the shortcut and caught up to the wolf right under the Ferris wheel. Mother goat and the little goat surrounded the bad wolf. Wolf couldn't find a way out, so he jumped on the Ferris wheel. You'll never catch me! <laughs> Mother Goat stopped the Ferris wheel when the wolf's capsule reached the very top. The other goat started to climb upward. Let's give him a good shake to frighten him. Help! Uh, save me! I, I, I hate it! I hate it that it's swaying! Wolf was so afraid that he let go of the little goat and held onto the structure tightly. Please! Stop! I am so sorry! You can't get away that easily, Bad Wolf. You'll pay for what you did first. The Bad Wolf couldn't take it anymore and jumped into the River Thames. The River Police on duty took him away. should learn a lesson from this, my darlings. With bad people like Wolf around, we always have to be careful. You're, You're right, right, Mommy! Mommy. Mother Goat and the little goats forgot about this incident and went everywhere in London. They took a lot of pictures and had a wonderful vacation. Then they returned to their farm with great memories. Once upon a time, Mother Goat and her seven little goats lived happily in a small village. Their mother always told them to stay away from the bad wolf. The little goats were always together. They looked after one another so that wolf couldn't get close to them. When they got back from school, they would do their homework, play games and always make sure that they read books before sleep. One day, they returned home from school happily. 
They sat down at the table and munched on the cookies that Mother Goat had baked for them with love. Tell me, how was your day? We learned about ancient Egypt in history class today. Very nice. I've read books about ancient Egypt. It's one of the oldest civilizations. I've always been interested in the subject. Mom, do you think the pharaohs were bad people? Why do you ask? Well, I thought they were because of what our teacher told us. Mom, what does pharaoh mean? The pharaohs were heads of state and also the highest priests in Egypt thousands of years ago. Mother Goat got up from her chair, went to the bookshelf and returned with a book. She sat down again and began leafing through it. There, I found it. Let's see who the pharaohs were. The first pharaoh lived approximately 3,000 years ago. The pharaonic system was passed on from father to son. The pharaohs didn't treat their people well. They were very poor, so the Great Pyramids were just big tomes of powerful pharaohs. A lot of mysteries still surround the pyramids. For instance, some of the pharaohs were weird-looking masks. Why did they set traps inside the pyramids? Because they didn't want the commoners to enter them. How about the masks? They had several, such as cat, eagle, dog, wolf. Wolf? That means wolves have been bad ever since? <laughs> the life of ancient people was so hard. True, but just think about living in that time. How exciting! Imagine exploring a pyramid full of mazes! What an adventure! Let's not forget about Bad Wolf. Imagine him with us. <laughs> you say that now, but if it this happened, all of you would be looking for places to hide. <laughs> <laughs> When it was time for bed, the little goats fell asleep right away. They all dreamed about things they had read. Just then, the room lit up. The light was coming from outside, and it was so bright that it woke the little goats. What's going on? What's that light? Oof, my eyes! The little goats opened the window to find out where the light was coming from. They saw a huge round object resembling a UFO. It was so bright that it was blinding. What is this? It looks like a spaceship. Scared. Just then, the light of the luminous object died down and a gate opened. A very old owl appeared at the door. Guys! Guys! Come here! Who's this? I don't know, but I think he needs help. The little goats approached the old owl hesitantly. Come with me, quick. We need your help. Who are you? Why do you need our help? I come from afar. You must help us. Is this a spaceship? No, it's a time machine. I'm coming from thousands of years back. I'm here to take you back in time. Only you can save us from the bad pharaoh. Us? What can we even do? 
You defeated the bad wolf here. Surely you can do the same for us there. The little goats looked at one another. They didn't know what to do. The old owl looked helpless. So they felt pity for him. We have to help him. You are right. Come on, guys. The little goats entered the time machine. The machine began to light up again and disappeared. The seven little goats found themselves in the desert. Where, where are we? Where did you bring us? Look at those huge monuments over there. Pyramids. All right, kids. We're in Egypt. In ancient Egypt. What's going to happen now? The pyramid you see is now being built by Pharaoh Tutankhamun. He's focused on building the world's greatest pyramid that he has ignored his people's suffering. I'm sorry to hear that. People are starving and they're enduring poverty and diseases. Someone has to put an end to this. The pharaoh has lost his mind. It's best to drive him away from the country. We have to plan something now. The little goats huddled and whispered. The old owl was curious and wanted to know what they were talking about. Everybody understood their part? Yes, it'll be just like in those books we read. We need lots of bandages. Good thing I brought my music player and speaker with me. Once Old Owl brought them the materials they needed, they headed to Tutankhamun's palace. Outside the palace, one little goat climbed on top of another's shoulders while the other ones wrapped them in bandages. <laughs> Such a great mommy! <laughs> Is the voice clip ready? Everything's ready! Let's begin then. Put on your masks. All the little goats wore the masks Old Owl brought. Those masks belonged to Tutankhamun's ancestors. They entered the palace with masks on. The guards scurried away in fear. The pharaoh's throne hall door opened and a voice was heard coming from inside. What's that noise? What's going on? Who dares to disturb me? The pharaoh came out. The little goats were surprised to see the pharaoh's resemblance to that of the bad wolf. It was as if they were both one. It's your turn now. The two little goats that had been bandaged together like a mummy began to wobble toward the pharaoh, making weird noises. Who are you? Guys, help! One of the little goats pressed the music player's button, and then a voice resembling that of the pharaoh's father could be heard. The pharaoh didn't know what to do and was so scared. Is this what I taught you, son? I always advised no to be arrogant, but you always did the exact opposite. Dad, but this is impossible! Be quiet! 
Dad, please forgive me. I'll never defy you ever again. What did you say, old owl? Should I forgive my son? You can give him one more chance, sir. Then, you are forgiven. But if I hear any complaints ever again, I'll come and take you with me. D don't worry, Dad. You, you can trust me. Owl, you will keep an eye on my son. And if he ever strays again, you'll let me know. Is that clear? Yes, sir. The mummy of the little goats wobbled back the way it came and disappeared behind the door. Your plan was perfect, kids. Thank you so much. Come on, enter the time machine so that I can take you back. The little goats entered the time machine. Everything was dark, and then it lit up again. The little goats found themselves in their beds. They looked at one another. The window they had opened earlier was closed. It was as if they had never left their room. Was it all real? Or did we all have the same dream? I don't know what happened, but I think we did a great job! Once upon a time, seven little goats and their mother lived happily in a sunny little town. The seven little goats walked merrily to school every day. One day, their teacher talked to the students about famous structures built by the Spanish architect Antoni Gaudi. Mm, teacher, what does architect mean? An architect is a person that sketches the blueprints of the buildings we see around, such as houses, schools and hospitals. They follow some construction rules and make sure the buildings are safe. Kids, did you know that Gaudi used nature as inspiration for his buildings? He designed the interior walls of buildings resembling three bark and spiral stairs that similar to that of a snail shell. Teacher, I'm curious about these buildings. Where can I find them? These buildings are in Barcelona, in Spain. After school, the little goats returned home and their mother greeted each one with a kiss. One of the little goats shared what they had learned about the Spanish architect. Mom, can we go to Barcelona? All right, kids. Let's all go on a weekend trip! Yay! The seven little goats were so excited about their trip that they couldn't stop talking about it everywhere. All the townspeople as well as the wolf heard about the little goats' trip to Barcelona. They set out for Barcelona on the weekend. After the car trip, they left their luggage in their hotel room. Mother Goat gathered the little goats around her. Our first stop is Architect Gaudi's Park Güell. Let's go! As the little goats followed their mum, the last one walking in line thought he had seen the wolf in the hotel lobby.
When they arrived at Parkwell, they visited the buildings that seemed to be made of sugar and cookies. They strolled happily in the terrace that resembled ocean waves made of colourful glass and tiles. While the happy goats roamed around excitedly, the wolf in disguise offered an apple from his basket to one of the little goats. The little goat, however, recognised Wolf's hands and ran to his mother. The wolf knew then that he couldn't easily fool the little goat. Mom! Mom! There's someone over there! Where, sweetie? He's gone. That's weird. Never mind, Mom. The next stop was artist Salvador Dali's house, which had been turned into a museum. One of the little goats noticed an artist among the crowd painting in the corner and thought it was the wolf. Wolf took advantage of the crowd and tried to put the little goat into his satchel. The bad wolf once again had failed, so he ran away. This wolf doesn't give up. Let's be careful and not get separated. Yeah, he went grew a moustache, thinking we wouldn't be able to recognize him. Where are you, kids? Don't go far. Remember, evil wolves can be anywhere. There's nothing to be scared of, Mom. We took care of it. <laughs> Let's go inside and view the artworks. Tonight, we're going to see a flamenco show. We shouldn't be late to the hotel. After the museum, Mother Goat and the little goats returned to the hotel and got ready to see the show. What kind of a dance is flamenco? Dancers try to express their emotions through the tapping of their feet, intricate hands, and body movements. They wear special costumes. Yes, yes, colorful dresses, but mostly red. I'm curious. We'll see them tonight. Come on, let's hurry. In the evening, the little goats went to see the show, not knowing that Wolf would be there too. When the show was about to start, the youngest goat suspected one of the dancers was Wolf himself. Mom, look! Shh! Be quiet, the show has started. Mother Goat didn't recognize Wolf and watched the show delightedly. The youngest goat went backstage to expose Wolf. One of the little goats saw his brother leave, so he followed him. While dancing, Wolf watched the little goat's every move. So when he saw him enter the backstage, he exited the stage, still dancing. Wolf caught the goat and quickly put him in his satchel. As he was about to escape, he ran into the second little goat, who followed his siblings. I know who you are. Oh, do you now? Then tell me who I am. You are the bad wolf. Let go, my siblings. No way! You'll have to catch me first! <laughs> At that moment, Wolf got back on the stage. The little goat, who was trying to blend in with the dancers, spotted his mother and siblings among the spectators. Mother Goat was engrossed in the show, but got surprised when she saw the little goat dancing on the stage. 
Oh no! What's your brother doing on the stage? Yeah! That's our brother! And the one dancing and holding the satchel is the bad wolf. At that moment, the rhythm changed to a quicker pace. With a big thud, Wolf tripped and fell down in the middle of the stage. His wig fell off his head. The little goat got out of the satchel that the wolf had dropped. Mother goat stood up in a state of nerves. It's bad wolf! Get him! Mother Goat and the little goats ran onto the stage and began to headbutt Wolf. Oh, 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 my back, my feet. Oh, oh, oh. Bad Wolf escaped again. Let's try to forget about this incident. It's been a tiring day. Let's go to bed. Good morning, kids! Guess where we're going today? Where, Mommy? Where? To the statue of Christopher Columbus. Who is that, Mommy? I'll tell you about him once we get there. Christopher Columbus was an Italian sailor, explorer, and colonizer. He crossed the Atlantic Ocean, sailing on his ship, and discovered new places. The American continent is one of them. How interesting! What an adventure! I'd like to explore new places too! Meanwhile, Wolf was in a Christopher Columbus disguise. None of the goats recognized him. Wolf hadn't given up and was still after them. He approached the three little goats walking in the back and distracted them by talking about ships and the ocean. Come, I'll show you my ship. Yay! <laughs> Excited, the little goats followed Wolf. Wolf boarded the ship with the little goats. He removed his hat and wig and made himself known to the little goats. We will set sail and you cannot escape now. <laughs> ha! Think again, bad wolf. Come on, guys, jump! The little goats jumped and caught the sail. The mainsail spun in its place and around the mast. Due to the goat's weight and pushed wolf into the sea. Eat me again, but I'll never give up. Uh, uh, mommy, uh, help! Uh, uh, <laughs> they made me board the ship, officer. I'm innocent, I swear. <laughs> I hate getting wet. <laughs> we watched everything from the surveillance cameras, Pet Wolf. We know you're lying. I'm so sorry. Please let me go. I won't do that again. Forget it, you'll get your punishment first. For two months, you'll be picking garbage on the shore. No, I hate getting wet. <laughs> I
Once upon a time, in a picturesque little town, lived Mother Goat and her seven kids. The seven little goats went to school every morning. They loved their school, teachers, and friends very much. That morning, they noticed that their teacher was happy. Children, I have excellent news. Our school has been chosen to perform at the International Band Festival. The festival is organized in Moscow, the capital city of Russia. Our tickets have already been paid. We're leaving next week. Yay! Awesome! Hooray! Bum, ba -da -dum, bum, ba -da -dum. Children, start gathering information about Moscow so we can discuss it during our trip. Let's go to the library. Half of us can research online and the rest can check the books. We'll get a lot of information since Moscow is a very, very old city. When the little goats finished doing their research, they went home. They couldn't stop talking about the festival in Moscow. The wolf heard their excited voices. He was curious, so he followed the little goats. Nobody, except one brother and the wolf, realized that the last little goat tripped on the chestnuts and fell. Here's my break. I'll put these little rascals in my bag and take them away. <laughs> But wait a minute, why not take them all? I'll take them all! I'll take them all! Being greedy got the best of him. While he was stuffing the kids in his bag, one of the sisters started screaming. Hey, let go of my brothers, you wicked wolf! And then, five kids picked up the chestnuts around and hurled them at the wolf. Take this! Eat these! Let our brothers go, you wretch! The wolf got hurt when the chestnuts hit his head, arms and legs, so he dropped the bag. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, my greed got the best of me. I should have left with the two I caught. And those chestnuts, every inch of me hurts. I'll get you all in Moscow. Uh, <laughs> the following week, the teacher and the seven kids, along with their instruments, got on the plane for Moscow. Nobody realized that the wolf was following them. Children, before the festival, we will visit the Cosmonautics Memorial Museum. This place was built in memory of Yuri Gagarin. As you all know, Yuri Gagarin was the first human in history to journey into outer space and completed one orbit of Earth. Wow! He was an astronaut! Unbelievable! What an adventure! Space, stars, the moon! The wolf was still following them. But he couldn't get the chance to catch them due to bad timing. There'll be a spectacular acrobatic show and water attractions. Let's go to all! I love acrobatics! It looks easy, but that needs a lot of training. I prefer the water attractions. Can we get into the water too? <laughs> no, silly! It's not possible! <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> 
Wow. Hey. wow! Check Ooh. there! <laughs> Check this out! Wow! Next stop is Kremlin Square. That's where the festival is. It's showtime! Riding on the bus, the little goats admired the buildings they drove by. Look, children, that building on your right is the famous Bolshoi Theater. The best opera singers and ballet dancers have performed there for nearly 200 years, and they do. I want to be a ballerina too! Ballet shoes are so beautiful! The bus approached Kremlin Square. The red walls that you see, they are protecting the palace inside as the castle walls. Teacher, do they call this place Red Square because of the red colored walls? Their teacher smiled. Yes, that's correct. Kremlin Square is also known as Red Square. Wow, that's really colorful. What a huge square! Although it's a little chilly, it's a beautiful place! Our special hats will keep us warm. With all the excitement, the youngest little goat got hungry. He got away from the group to find something to eat. The wolf saw him and thought this was his chance. Hello! Are you looking for something? Can I help you? Yes! I'm hungry! If you want, I can give you some food. It's just around the corner. Come with me. The little goat accepted the offer and walked away with the wolf. A bit later, the wolf stuffed him in a bag when nobody was watching. The wolf swung the bag on his back. He walked back towards the stage. He was greedy, so getting one goat was not enough for him. He wanted them all. Later, another little goat got thirsty and walked away from the band area. The wolf immediately approached him. Hello? Are you looking for something? Yes, I'm very thirsty. Can you help me to find water? Of course. Come with me. The little goat walked beside the wolf. At that time, one of the goats saw the tail in the uniformed person walking with his brother. She immediately realized it was the wolf and started screaming. Help! The wolf kidnapped my brother! Uh, uh, uh. Hey you, just get in the bag. Uh, 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 uh. The Russian soldiers who heard the cries took action and caught the wolf. Drop the bag or else. The wolf swung and threw the bag at the soldiers and ran. We are gonna get you. Seeing the wolf running towards them, the little goat started playing their snare drums. Ah! What's this awful noise? My sensible ears can't take it! Uh, 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 oh, uh, oh my god! What's going on? Uh, 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 uh. The goats played the cymbals together and the wolf nearly lost his mind. Please, come and get me, please! Uh, uh, uh. You greedy wolf! That served you right! <laughs> <laughs> the seven little goats and their teacher received a standing ovation. And the wicked wolf? They say he's still wandering around Red Square, rambling on about the goats.
Once upon a time, in a lovely town, there lived seven little goats and their mother. One day, it rained so much that there were puddles everywhere. When the rain stopped, the seven little goats wanted to go out to play. Mom! Mom! The rain stopped! Can we go out and play? Well, okay, okay, but all of you need to put on your rain boots. We already did, Mom! Yay! <laughs> Look, I brought my toy dinosaur. It likes to play in the water, too. <laughs> Look, guys, I built a water slide for him. I wish there's a water slide big enough that even we could slide, too. I've heard about the city that has huge water parks. Yes, the teacher told me that there are enormous fun water parks in Dubai. Whoa! Let's go to Dubai! Mom was wondering and also thinking about taking a short trip to Dubai. It'll be great! The tallest building in the world is also in Dubai. But I can't remember the name. Hurry, let's go ask Mom. Mom, Mom, can we go to Dubai, please? Dubai? Where did you kids get that idea? Dubai has the greatest water parks in the world. And we're crazy about playing in the water. It also has the tallest skyscraper in the world. But I still can't remember the name. I think you're talking about Burj Khalifa. Hmm. Well, it's not a bad idea. I love water parks, too. <laughs> Yippee! Yippee! Meanwhile, the wolf disguised as a goat was listening to them outside their window. So you're going to Dubai, huh? You wretched goats. I'm coming too, of course, and this time I will succeed. <laughs> the trip preparations took two days. The day of departure had arrived, and the seven little goats and their mother set out for Dubai. Kids! We'll be landing soon. We'll leave our luggage in our hotel room so we can start our tour immediately. Where would you like to go first? Water, water park! park. <laughs> okay, water park it is. Yippee! They got off the plane and went to their hotel. They quickly got ready and went to the water park. Get ready for us, water park. Here we come. The wicked wolf might be after us again. So let's be careful, guys. Here we are, my children. This water park is as much fun for kids as it is for adults. Let's get our tickets. How many are you? Eight, please. You too. Enter through the door on the right. The rest through the door on the left. It's too crowded here. That's the only way I can take you all in. Gosh. Okay, let's meet inside, girls. Okay, okay Mom. Mom. <laughs> that was so easy. Those goats are so naive. Okay, here we go, little ones. I'm going to help you. Right at that moment, the hat of the wolf got stuck in the door, exposing his two long ears. Mother goat saw that, jumped in and headbutted the wolf. The wolf flipped in the air and fell in one of the pools. Oh, uh, oh my gosh. Not water again. I can't stand water. Ah. 
<laughs> That'll teach him a lesson. Well, at least for now. <laughs> Let's enjoy the water park, my little ones. Let's go! <laughs> Yippee! Yeah! Yippee! Yeah! Yes! Yippee! <laughs> this place is closing now. Let's go to the hotel and rest. Tomorrow, we're going to visit the tallest building in the world. They went back to the hotel. After dinner, they felt tired. It had been a full day, so they all went to bed. Good morning, everyone! Today, we'll go to the tallest building in the world. Are we ready? Yes! yes! Mommy, how tall is the Burj Khalifa? It's 828 meters, which is equivalent to 2,717 feet. It feels like you're over the clouds looking down at the world. Wow, that's amazing! Unbelievable! That's really high! Here we are, my children. This time, there's no water. I wonder how you're going to save yourself in the skyscraper. You won't be able to escape this time. <laughs> Mom, this building is way too high. Won't it take a long time to go up there? No, it won't, because these are the fastest elevators in the world. Okay. Are you ready to go up to the observation deck? Yes! After they spent some time on the terrace, the goat family was preparing to go down when the wolf in disguise cut in front of Mother Goat. And the winner is... You! Yes, madam, it's you! You've just won tickets for eight for a desert safari! Really? Us? <laughs> well, that's wonderful! When can we go, Mom? We can go right now, little one. Isn't it late? Isn't it better to go tomorrow? We don't want to get caught in a sandstorm at night time. No, my dear. It's perfectly fine. I've already checked the weather forecast. Okay, let's go to the hotel first so we can get some provisions. We can start the safari then. Yes! <laughs> Mother Goat went to the hotel and got some stuff. Including a tent, in case they needed to sleep there. The safari had been enjoyable so far. However, the wolf was taking them further away little by little without them noticing. When it got dark, the wolf went to Mother Goat to carry out his plan. Uh, uh, it's dark, madam. So we need to stay here. We can't go back. It's very dangerous. Oh, no. But if you say so. Let's start setting the tent quickly. Ha 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 ha! This is perfect. I'll have a feast tonight. Ah, 
Once he made sure all the goats were sleeping, he intended to carry out his plan. But as soon as he stuck out his head out of the tent, a strong gust of wind blew on his face. What in the world is going on here? Uh, 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 uh. Sand is all over my face. Nobody goes out of the tent. The sandstorm has started. Ah, you're talking about the sandstorm. Wait until you see the wolf storm. <laughs> as soon as the wolf stepped out of the tent, the sandstorm strengthened and buried the wolf's tatty tent. No! No! I was so close! When the sandstorm was over, Mother Goat got out of her tent and saw neither the wolf nor the tent was there. Where's the guide? Hmm, he's gone. But his car is still here. That's strange. Let's go back to our hotel, children. This is the end of another adventure. Once upon a time, in the middle of a lush forest, there lived Mother Goat and her seven little goats. One of the little goats woke up early in the morning and looked outside the window. She was surprised to see it was snowing. She started jumping around and shouted excitedly. Her siblings jumped out of bed and rushed to the window. Yes! Yes! It's snowing! Hooray! Wow! Mother Goat, who heard her kids' excited shouts, came into the room. I have good news for you! This afternoon, the biggest pine tree at the town square will be decorated for New Year's! Yay! Yay! But, Mom, that's a giant tree! Oh, it'll take hours to decorate. Yes, you're right. That's why the townspeople will be there helping. I love New Year's Day. Hooray! The little goats and their mother wore their coats, gloves and berets and went outside. They enjoyed watching the snow falling. Let's make a snowman when we get to the square. Let's have a snowball fight too! Yes! That'll be fun! They got on their sleds and slid through the town square. The last little goat couldn't find his sled in the house. Mom! I can't find my sled! Mom! Where are you? Where are you all? My gosh, they left me behind. I have to find my sled immediately. Suddenly, he saw two long ears in front of the window. Oh, I see Wicked Wolf. I have to be careful. <laughs> These wretched goats, they left the windows open, so I'll take all the food from their kitchen and prepare myself a feast for New Year. <laughs> this wicked wolf won't steal our food. I'll show him. The little goat ran to the kitchen.
grabbed the bottle of cooking oil and hot pepper and poured them under the window. The wicked wolf entered through the window and stepped on the oil. He slipped and fell. Ah, ah, help! I'm burning! Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> <laughs> I got you! I saw you! Just wait until my tongue gets better! No, 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 no! Hmm, he thinks I'm entering through the window, but I'll surprise him. This time, I'm going in through the front door. <laughs> this wicked wolf will probably try to enter through the door. I'll set a trap there too. The little goat put a bucket of ice-cold water over the door, attached a string to it, and hid behind the clock. Now you'll see, you wicked wolf! <laughs> that miserable little goat is in for a big surprise when he sees all the food is gone! <laughs> the wicked wolf opened the door and entered quietly. At that moment, the bucket filled with ice water fell over him. You're trying in vain. You will never enter this house. The frozen wolf hit the tree and got very angry. This time I'm going to use a different entrance. One that he won't imagine. <laughs> I'm sure the wicked wolf hasn't given up and he'll try entering down the chimney, but I am ahead of him. The little goat gathered all the needles he found in the house and put them in the fireplace. Then he covered them. This time, I'm going to get that mean little goat. Hmm, <laughs> can I fit in this chimney? My ears are kind of big for the hole, but I'll make them fit, no doubt. Uh, it's too dark in here. My ear hurts too, but I'll get a lot of food. The little goat heard the rattling from the chimney, so he knew the wolf was coming down. <laughs> Meanwhile, the other six little goats and their mother had arrived at the town square and were amazed when they saw the lit up giant tree. They were serving scones, chocolate cake and hot milk at the tables around. Everybody started decorating the tree and hanging the ornaments. The little goats hung their ornaments in the higher branches by climbing on each other's shoulders. Make a wish when you hang your ornaments. Hurry up, hang your ornament. I will make a wish as I hang mine too. The little goat on the top looked down and noticed one sibling was missing. Wait, we're only six! What? We left our brother at home! The wolf was finally able to come down the chimney. But, before he put his feet on the ground, he noticed a glare. He realized that there were needles. It was a trap. <laughs> you can't fool me this time. I saw the needles, you mean goat. Oh no, I need to call for help immediately. When the little goat rushed out of the house, he saw his siblings approaching. 
He told them what had happened. Is that so? That wicked wolf will see what happens when you try to steal from goats. Here's the plan. A while later, the wolf left, carrying a big bag full of food. Nobody can outsmart me. I'm very clever. I'm super tough. <laughs> ah, my eyes. Then all the little goats started throwing the snowballs that they had scooped and made. Take this. this. Take, Take that. that. Take you wicked that. wolf. You wicked wolf. Ah, stop. It's snowballing from everywhere. Help me! Save me! The wolf let go of the bag with food and ran. He collided with the tree and all the snow on the branches fell on him. The little goat snapped a picture of the wolf looking like a snowman. We're going to hang this picture in the town square, you wicked wolf! <coughs> I hate snowman! And now... Uh, <coughs> I've turned into one! Uh... <laughs> he looks so funny! <laughs> Snow wolf! We showed him! <laughs> Let's go back! We need to finish decorating the tree! There's very little time to New Year's Day! The little goats went back to town happily. The townspeople started the countdown together. The last 10 seconds of New Year's Eve. Once upon a time, in a lush forest, there lived a mother goat and her seven kids. One morning, while having breakfast, the little goats talked about the trip they had planned to Berlin. Mother goat noticed that the youngest kid didn't join the conversation and was reading her book instead. What are you reading, dear? I'm reading about Berlin, the capital of Germany. We want to know, too. Would you like to share what you've learned, dear? Sure. Berlin has more than 150 museums. Oh! Wow! It'll be hard to choose among so many. Kids, it's time to go now. On the plane, we can write a list of the museums we'll visit. Mother Goat and her kids took their bags and left. The little goats were excited, but none of them noticed that the wolf was following them. After a nice flight, they decided to do some sightseeing in Berlin. Kids, this is Brandenburg Gate. It is in the center of the city. It was actually built as a gate for the royal family. Hey, the bad wolf? Where? There! The one riding the bicycle! 
I wonder if they recognize me. I must leave now. There is no wolf here. Mom, which museum are we going to now? We'll go to the Museum of Natural History. The biggest dinosaur skeleton is there. Yes, yes. I read that it is 13 meters tall. The little goats and their mother visited the Museum of Natural History. They studied each piece in the exhibition. When they saw the dinosaur skeleton, they were surprised. Oh my goodness! Look at its mouth! It's even bigger than that of the wolves! Everyone was busy examining the skeleton, so the wolf thought that nobody had noticed him. While Mother Goat was reading the skeleton's information, two of the kids noticed the wolf among the visitors. The little goats nodded at each other to confirm they knew what to do to catch the wolf. They started shaking the dinosaur skeleton. The wolf got scared when he saw the dinosaur's giant teeth. Oh my gosh, mommy! <laughs> <laughs> he thinks he can fool us. Those big ears are a giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> The little goats and their mother left the museum and started walking. Which museum is next, mother? The Museum of Science and Technology. Here we are. This museum has bicycles, motorcycles, and phytons from very old times. Hey! There are planes too! Yes, there are exhibits for marine and aviation history. Come on, let's check out the first vehicles that were built. Look! The front wheel of this bicycle is huge! Wow! It's beautiful! There are some interesting cars in here! Very nice! Can we ride them? No! We can't use the ones in the museum. But I have a surprise for you later. Yay! You're, You're awesome, awesome, Mom! Mom! The little goats and their mother toured the museum happily. What other museums?
museums are we going to visit? The Fire Department Museum, the Police History Museum, and the Banknote Museum. But let's take a break for today. Mom, what was just the price you were talking about? We will tour the city in the historic Trebant Old Timer, a historic German car. The little goats gathered round the colourful compact cars and chose one. But they didn't see the wolf getting in the car behind theirs. One of the kids was surprised when he saw the colourful cars. Are we going to drive this antique car? Yes! The little goats and their mother were so happy sightseeing the city in a Trabant. While Mother Goat was driving, she saw the wolf in the rearview mirror. He was following them. We'll teach that wolf a lesson. Kids, are you buckled up? Yes! The wolf couldn't do anything when the car in front of him braked abruptly. This can't be happening to me! He saved me! I'm not a fish! <laughs> Who is afraid of this wolf? Why am I so unlucky? Why can't I ever catch them? <laughs> Once upon a time. In a lush forest, there lived a mother goat and her seven kids. One day, mother goat took her kids on a trip to Istanbul. There's another bridge over there! Look! Such a beautiful view! Yes! yes! We'll do some sightseeing on the boat. There are lots of places to see on the Bosphorus. Here we are. Kids, we are in Üsküdar, one of the oldest districts in Istanbul. Cool! <laughs> we can take the ferry! Yes! I thought we could see more of the Bosphorus if we took the ferry. But the goats didn't notice that the bad wolf was on the same ferry, stalking them.
they truly enjoyed the view from the ferry. Look kids, that's Dolmabachi Palace. It is now a museum. Wolf realized that the little goat saw him, so he hid behind his folding fan. Where? Where is he? Maybe you confused him with someone else, darling. Mom, look! There's a bigger palace there! Kids, that is Topkapı Palace, the biggest palace, which was built after the conquest of Constantinople, now Istanbul. Istanbul was the home to a lot of empires in the past, such as the Roman, the Byzantine, and the Ottoman empires. This city has so much history! I agree! Come on, kids. The ferry is about to dock. This area is called Galata, and this is the famous Galata Tower. Let's go upstairs. Mother Goat and her kids went to the top of the Galata Tower. The view is amazing! The Galata Tower used to be the tallest building here. Hazarfan Ahmed Chilibi was a legendary Ottoman aviator who wore wings and flew from the Galata Tower to Skidar. Wow! Where did he find the wings? He studied how bird wings work, so he calculated the wings pan needed for his body and built huge wings. <laughs> That's amazing! That's a great idea! I can also wear wings to fly over the little goats and kidnap one of them! <laughs> While Mother Goat was talking to her kids, a gust of wind followed by a shadow appeared. Someone is trying to imitate his orphan. The wolf descended, flapping the wings he wore, and got the youngest goat. <gasps> oh no! Follow the wolf. The little goats and their mother quickly went down the stairs of the tower and got in a fishing boat. Mother goat piloted the boat and the kids kept their sight on the flying wolf. The wind is slowing down. Oh no, they will fall into the sea. Mother goat sped up. I have a plan, Mom.
get as close to the wolf as possible when he starts descending. Come on, let's form a ladder! The little goats managed to get high enough by climbing on each other's shoulders. Hold my hand! <laughs> the wolf flapped his wings so he started to ascend. <laughs> Who do you think I am, goats? I'm a birdie! A wolfy birdie! <laughs> Mother goat took advantage that the wind had died down and got close to the wolf. The little goat on the top reached out to her sister. Hold on to me, sis! Finally, the little goat was able to hold on to his brother. The wolf realized he was descending, so he started flapping his wings. Oh, my, my, my wings! My wings are tearing apart! Oh, no! <laughs> Hold on tight! A ferry passing by blew its horn. The ferry would hit the wolf if he didn't ascend quickly. The goats were saved when Mother Goat suddenly steered to avoid colliding head-on with the ferry. Mother Goat and her kids docked their boat at the Maiden's Tower, lying on a small islet located on the Bosphorus Strait. They were all amazed by the beautiful scenery. What an adventure! <laughs> we even saw Istanbul from a bird's eye view. <laughs> 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 Bad wolf, when will you come to your senses? Look what you've done! Let's visit the Hagia Sophia, the Blue Mosque, and the Basilica Cistern before it gets dark. Then we can go for ice cream. Let's go, kids! Not fair! Oh, I want to see these beautiful places too! <laughs> I, I want to eat ice cream too! <laughs> you could have seen these wonderful places too! Instead, you behaved wickedly! Don't worry, we'll eat ice cream on your behalf! Hmm. <laughs> no! Don't eat my ice cream! <laughs> officer! Oh, oh, officer! Please let me go! I want to see these places too! First, you have to serve your punishment. And if you behave, we'll get you some ice cream.
Once upon a time, seven little goats and their mother lived in a charming town among nature. After dinner, the little goats gathered around and started playing a map game. The youngest goat spun the globe, then pointed with his hoof and chose a place. A giant island? Or maybe an island country? Hey! No clues! Oh, yes! Now I remember! This is Japan and Tokyo is right under my finger! You know the rules of the game. You have to say what you know about the country or the city you point at. The one that knows the most information wins! Tokyo is the capital of Japan! Tell us, tell us more! Hmm, I know the Sakura trees. They have a lot of temples and beautiful parks. The little goat was trying to think of more information about Japan. At that moment, he saw two of his siblings having a pillow fight. So, the youngest sibling got up immediately and yelled. They have sumo wrestling! Congrats! <laughs> what are those little goats doing? They look like they're having so much fun! How dare they! <laughs> Mother goat came into the room to check up on them as she heard them laughing aloud. When she saw they were pillow fighting, she laughed and said, Kids, do you want to go to Tokyo and watch sumo wrestlers up close? Really? How? Whoa! Whoa! Of, of course! course! Yay! Yay! Let's go to Tokyo this weekend. We can do some sightseeing and watch a sumo match. I want to see the sakura trees too. They're beautiful. They got ready, and Mother Goat and her kids got on the airplane. And of course, the Wicked Wolf too. The little goats were excited and happy. One of the little goats kept staring at one of the passengers, because this passenger looked like the Wicked Wolf. Unfortunately, the little goat couldn't recognize him. Did you really think you could recognize me wearing this outfit, silly goat? <laughs> they arrived in Japan after a wonderful flight. On the first day of their trip, the goats walked through Tokyo's beautiful parks. Wow! This place is incredible! Yes! Mother Goat gathered her children under a sakura tree and explained the meaning of the name. The word sakura means cherry blossom in Japanese. So, when will this tree grow cherries? Sakura is a fruitless tree. These flowers take a long time to bloom, but after two weeks, the blossoms start to fall. In Japan, sakura flowers announce the beginning of spring. Mom! The wolf is here! You wicked wolf! You are everywhere! Uh, what can I say? I also happen to be in Tokyo, and um, I, I love these flowers a lot. Really? If you tell me the name of these flowers, I'll let you go. Um, uh, can, can you give me a hint? Uh, what was it? Uh, they're daisies. Yes, yes, that's it. They're daisies. No, you're wrong. These are Sakura. 
Look, there's a panda bear on the tree. It's about to fall. Huh? Where? Which tree? When everyone looked up, the wolf started running away. Stop! I said stop. I'm going to catch you. He never learns his lesson. Good morning, kids! Today, we'll continue sightseeing in Tokyo. And I have a surprise for you tonight. Cool! Where? Where are we going? Hey! I love surprises! Mother Goat and her kids continued walking the streets of Tokyo. None of the goats recognized the wolf as he frequently changed his disguise. At sunset, Mother Goat showed her kids the tickets she held. It's time for tonight's surprise, kids! Children, these tickets are for tonight's big tournament. What, what tournament? tournament? The sumo wrestling tournament is one of the most important events in Japan. So, are we watching a sumo match? Yippee! Yippee! Mother Goat and her kids were watching the wrestlers excitedly, but the youngest goat was hiding behind his mother, a little concerned. Mom, doesn't it hurt them? No, it doesn't. The meaning of the word sumo is to mutually rush at or to compete safely. It means self-defense, right, Mommy? Yes, that is true. Nobody gets hurt here. This is a sports competition. As Mother Goat talked to her kids, the wolf showed up and threw one of the goats in his sack and started running. Mother Goat saw the panicked wolf running among the spectators and she yelled, Get him! The wicked wolf got one of my kids! As the sumo wrestlers were competing, the wolf was trying to run away among the spectators. One of the people in the audience stuck his foot out and made the wolf trip. The wolf flew across and fell in the arena where the sumo wrestlers were competing. The audience started clapping at the sumo wrestlers when they saw the unconscious wolf. Yay! What happened to me? Where am I? Who am I? The police officers at the arena grabbed the wolf from under the confused sumo wrestlers. Wolf slowly recovered and started crying. Forgive me. I'm, I'm very sorry. I, I won't do it again. <laughs> no, you must be punished. You'll work in the kitchen preparing the food for the sumo wrestlers. No! I, I hate working in the kitchen! <laughs> oh, man! I, I 
don't like mopping the floor, so... <laughs> On a rainy day, the little goats were trying not to step in puddles as they walked home from school. Hey, look! This island is mine! My island is kinda small! <laughs> When the little goats got home, they told their mother about the game they were playing. So, you became an archipelago. What's an archipelago, Mom? It means a group of islands, like Indonesia, for example. It has 17,000 islands, and five of them are very big. Wow! That's, That's amazing! amazing. 17,000 islands? So how did those islands appear? Islands are formed as a result of volcano eruptions located on the ocean floor. Mom, can we travel to those islands? Have they cooled down already? Wouldn't that burn our hooves, Mom? They appeared thousands of years ago and now they have cities built on them. For example, Jakarta, Indonesia's capital city, is located on one of the big five islands. They are always in a happy mood. It's so annoying. What is it that it's so funny? Mom, can we go to Jakarta too? Please, we really want to go. It's also close to the equator. Cool. Okay, kids, start packing for the weekend. Yay! Yay! Those guys are always traveling. I want to go to Jakarta too. And, and maybe I can have better luck there. <laughs> the wolf was excited and went back home to pack. Shorts, yes, glasses, swimsuit, and uh, what was it? Um, uh, I couldn't see it. Ugh. After all the preparations, they were finally ready. They got on a ship for their trip to Jakarta. Once they arrived, they left their luggage in the hotel and got on a tour bus. Wicked Wolf also got on the bus in disguise. Okay, kids, that's Selamet di Tang. It's a monument that says welcome to our city. Thank, thank, you. You. thank, thank you. you, thank you. Oh, it's very high. Now, we are going somewhere even higher, Rizma 46. What? 46 floors? I hope it has an elevator. <laughs> the wolf took advantage of the crowd so he could get closer to two of the little goats. Hello, kids! I was trying to take a picture of this building. I think my camera is broken. Can you help me? The two little goats didn't recognize the disguised wolf. They wanted to help him out. Oh, oh, my eyes! 
Wicked Wolf turned on the camera's flash to blind them with the light. As he was preparing to kidnap them, the wolf saw their mother. He immediately ran away. No, he wasn't, Mum. He was a photographer. We were going to help him, but he just disappeared. OK, if you say so. Mother Goat and her kids continued their trip happily. While they were getting off the cable car, the wolf caught one of the goats and started running. <laughs> you can't catch me! <laughs> oh, this boat is amazing! And I can travel through the thousand islands! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, excuse me, what are you carrying in your bag? Um, uh, no, nothing. I, I have my stuff in it. Okay then, put your bag here or it may fall into the sea. Here you go, some cold juice. It's our treat. The captain and the little goat came up with the perfect plan. The captain steered the boat to a place with a lot of sharks. Then, he called Mother Goat on his cell phone to inform her what had happened. Excuse me, Mr. Wolf? Uh, yes, that's me, Mr. Wolf. <laughs> uh, what's up? A tourist dropped her golden necklace there. I cannot dive because I'm not supposed to leave the boat. Can you fetch it, please? And it would be yours if you want it. It'll be a gift from us. Golden necklace? A gift? Oh, of course, uh, of course, but um, I don't like water, but I will get it very fast. Okay then, it's a deal. Fools, I'll be in the water for only two seconds and be rich. That captain is an idiot. <laughs> Mr. Wolf, come look, it's here. I can't see it, where? Look down. It's there. Where is it? Am, am I looking at the wrong place? Here it is, you wicked wolf. Well, <laughs> but what's going on? Hey, why did you push me, Captain? Where did you come from, you dirty goat? I got out of the bag, but I wonder if you'll be able to get out of the water. Mama! What is this? <laughs> Staying on that island for a week will teach you a lesson. <laughs> what I'm going to do on this island now? <laughs> Well, at least I got out of the water. <laughs> at that moment, it started to rain heavily. 
It was so heavy that the wolf got soaking wet again. Where did this rain come from? Um, I'm soaking wet again. This island doesn't even have a house. We are close to the equator, you wicked wolf. You should get used to the rainfalls. Good luck. This is unfair. Why do bad things always happen to me? What kind of place is this? <laughs> One of the best times of the year is here again. Trees are decorated, food is prepared, gifts are wrapped. Everyone is happy and excited, making the final preparations. The wolf, on the other hand, was sitting under the big tree in the square, looking at the gift boxes. I'm curious if I could take a peek. Remote control car! Oh, great! Well, let's see what this is. Yay! A train! My favorite toy! Wolf! What are you doing? Oops! Hi, artist! Um, I'm taking a peek at the gift. But you can't look at your gift now. I have no gift. How come? Why not? I was um, a little naughty this year. You know, there are no gifts for those who have been naughty. Oh dear! What did you do? Did you take something without permission? The wolf immediately thought of the eggs he took from the coop. Well, we can say something like that. Oh, wolf. But don't be upset. You haven't said anything bad to anyone. Wolf thought about the bad things he said throughout the year. But they deserve it. Okay, then. Didn't you help anybody? You remember the day Zebra fell down? Yes! I laughed at him. But that doesn't count as a good deed. But everyone says laughing brings joy. Yes, if you laugh together it does, you goofball. I told you, I was a little mischievous this year. That's why there's no gift for me. Oh man, so you were taking everybody else's gifts. I wasn't taking them, no. I was just speaking a little. I fancied them a lot. No way! Look, that's why you're on the naughty list. Actually, we have time until midnight. The year is not over yet. Maybe you can be off the naughty list. Uh, oh, L let's do it then. Please, please. Come with me. Artist Goat took Wolf to the coop. Artist, I told you, they don't want me here. Dear chickens, Wolf wants to tell you something. Well, I apologize for taking your eggs without permission. That's great, Wolf. Are you sure this will work? Come with me. Don't give up just yet. Zebra! Zebra! Yes, artist. Wolf has something to say to you. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry for laughing at you the other day. Oh, never mind. It was really funny, actually. I laughed so hard afterward. It's not a big deal. That day, Wolf apologized for what he had done throughout the year.
Then he ran under the big tree on the farm and started reading the names on the gift boxes. This is for lion, this is for zebras, this is for genius and this is for musician. No, no, no! He started to get sadder and sadder. There was no gift for him. This is so unfair! If I only got a little teensy weensy gift! <sighs> Artist Goat was watching Wolf from afar. She felt sorry for the wolf and went back home. What happened? What's wrong, dear? Mom, nobody bought a gift for the wolf because he was mischievous this year. I'm a little sad for him. Ah, how did we forget about him? We were so busy with dinner preparations. So it's not because he was naughty? Oh no, honey. We all misbehave sometimes. But that doesn't stop us from loving each other. Haven't you been naughty this year? The little goat thinks about it, and there were moments when she was not so proud. So, artist went from door to door in the farm and asked for help to get a gift for Wolf. Artist wrapped the gift she purchased with the money she collected and then put Wolf's picture on the box. While everyone was having fun in the square, it's time to start the countdown for the new year. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! Everyone started opening their gifts excitedly, except Wolf. He sat in a corner, watching everyone happily unwrapping boxes. Artist called out his name. Hey Wolf, you wouldn't believe it, but there's a gift for you too. Yes, yes, definitely, this gift is for you. Is this for me? For real? Yay! Open it up, let's see what's inside. But. I was very naughty. How could this be? It's from all of us, Wolf. This does not stop us from loving you. You're also funny. You play games with us, and you take us on different adventures. You learn from your mistakes. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm funny and adventurous. Thank, thank you very much. Let me see the box. No sound. Um. A little, little, little heavy? <laughs> I wonder what it is. The wolf carefully opened the box and a big smile grew on his face. This! This! Super Turbo Sonic Tablet 2021! <laughs> now, now I can play our games! <laughs> Happy, Happy New, New Year, Year everyone! <laughs> <laughs> On a sunny Sunday, the little goats were resting at home. Dreamer is quite bored since he cannot find the right answer to the crossword. Oof! I cannot find it! 
Can you help me? Sure. What is it? The longest city name of the world. It has seven letters. The longest city name which has seven letters. That's ridiculous. No, no. It's a well-known city and has seven letters. The crossword says that. That is the city with the longest name in the world. Hmm. Do you have any letters so far? Look at the other questions from top to bottom. I looked. It begins with a B. The little goats asked their mother, who had just walked into the room. It's Thailand's capital, Bangkok. The city name in the Thai language consists of 166 letters, but that city is known in the world as Bangkok. That takes too long to write. <laughs> 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 Meanwhile, the wolf is peeking through the window, trying to listen. Oh, wow! Mom, wolf is at the window again. Why don't we give him a room? He could be our oldest brother. Hey, I like the idea. Let me gather my stuff and come immediately. Stop, you goofy wolf. We were just kidding. Oh no! I really believed you! <laughs> Children, I think we could visit this beautiful city. Yay! No, Wolf, you're not allowed to come with us. You'll stay on the farm. But, but, but please, please! No way! Every time you come along, something always happens. There will be a lot of gold everywhere we visit. And you go crazy when you see gold. I promise I won't take anything. I don't like gold anymore. Please, please. All right. This is your last chance. Go get ready. Gold sculptures, gold everything! Oh my gosh! This will be my best trip ever! I just get some teensy weensy statues for myself, that's it! <laughs> Finally, the day of the trip arrived. Everyone got on the train for Bangkok. Kids, our first day in the city. I'll take you somewhere very interesting. I hope you like it. Aha! The floating market. Floating market? I hate water. Wouldn't it be better if we went to see the gold? At least I'm ready for anything. Mother Goat and the Little Goats got in the boats excitedly and bought some food from the market. Sorry, Wolf, but red is your colour. <laughs> Would you like some fruits? No, I don't want any. How about any of this food? No, I don't want any. I'm not hungry. Oh my god, is Wolf ill or something? This is the first time I hear you say you're not hungry. Maybe it is because of the boats. He was very scared on our trip to Vietnam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah. yeah! After the market, the little goats got on the famous tuk-tuks to take a short city tour. The little goats were enjoying their trip, but Wolf wasn't so happy. <laughs> I'm so bored. When are we going to see the statues? Ugh. You keep complaining, Wolf. We go there soon. Be patient. Wolf, cheer up. We're in Wat Po, the temple where the golden reclining Buddha statue is. Whoa! The gold I've been waiting for! Um, uh, I mean, uh, I'm sorry, I meant to say the temples. Wow! Look at how big that golden statue is! Where? Where? Well, 
I cannot carry this with me. Can I carry this? Let me try, but... Oh, I... It's... Oh, it's not... Possible. It doesn't even move. Excuse me. Can I find anywhere around here some gold that could fit in my pockets? Um, okay. Uh, oh, okay. Don't be upset. Uh, no problem. <laughs> um, uh, there's gold everywhere, but I can't even get a little piece. It's not fair. Shh. Children, listen. Another fact about Wat Po Temple is that it's the first university in Thailand where traditional Thai massage started. Should we get a massage? Yay! Bao Bao means soft and Nak Nak means hard in Thai. Don't forget to say Bao Bao for a soft massage when they ask during the massage. Bao Bao, Nak Nak, Nak Nak, Bao Bao. It is so simple, <laughs> I can manage that. Knock, knock, massage, please. Ouch! Oh, oh, ah, oh, stop! Knock, knock, uh, help! <laughs> oh my goodness, wolf! <laughs> Finally, we will end our trip with Wat Tremit, the Golden Buddha Temple. Wolf, do you think you can come? <laughs> Children, the Buddha statue in Wat Tremit is exactly 700 years old. It weighs 5.5 tons and is made of pure gold. Wolf, I hope you won't try to lift this one. Oh, that's really funny. <laughs> I'm laughing. <laughs> oh, um, uh, no, <coughs> no, no, uh, I was cleaning them. Oh, Wolf, you'll never learn. Come on, take the statue as a souvenir. <laughs> On a sunny day, the little goats were playing football in the park. Please, please, take me too. I love to play football. Our attack starts from the left side, but stopped. Now Ronaldo grabs the ball, Pella passed him, and he scored! Goal! Yes, dear audience, we applaud Brazil, because they'll win the World Cup for the fifth time. It was a super game! We're covered in dirt! Let's get cleaned! We're also starving! But I didn't get to play! Mm. Okay, I promise we'll let you play next time. But if you want, you can join us. We're having cookies and milk. <laughs> Yay! Hey, Wolf, that was quite a nice shot. Of course, Pele taught me. He's a close friend of mine. Pele? The legendary football player Pele? <laughs> yes, yes, of course. We we talk every day. He he really likes me. You're making this up, Wolf. How can you be friends with Pele, one of the world's most famous player? If you don't believe me, let's go to Rio de Janeiro and I'll introduce you to him. My aunt also lives there. Okay, we're going with you. Let's see your friend Pele and your aunt. Yay! Yay! Uh, sure, why not? Of, of course. Uh. When we get there, we'll go to Carnival Kids. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> After a long trip to Rio de Janeiro, Mother Goat and the Little Goats went to the famous carnival. There! 
there! There! Look! Look! My aunt is there! Wow! Your aunt is so cool! Yippee! This is fun! The excitement of the carnival surrounded everyone. They were all happy and in a good mood. Mother Goat and the little goats returned to their hotel after the carnival. Wasn't that fun? Yes, it was indeed. Kids, we have many places to visit tomorrow. Let's get some rest. The next day, Mother Goat and the little goats went to the Museum of Tomorrow. Wow! What a, ma what what a, a magnificent sight! The museum looks like it's floating. This building also produces its own electricity. It has solar panels that generate electricity from solar energy. Technology and nature together? How amazing is that? My aunt is expecting us for dinner this evening. Are you coming? Hmm. Why don't you also invite Mr. Pelé? We'll meet him at dinner. What do you think? Well, of course. Consider it done. Where is Mr. Pelé? Sometimes you kick, and it doesn't turn out right. <laughs> D just wait and see. He'll come. Yeah, right. I doubt he'll come. <laughs> <laughs> we have a helicopter tour tomorrow, kids. Wolf, get ready. I bought you a ticket, too. Awesome! We'll see the world-famous Christ the Redeemer statue and Maricana Stadium by helicopter. A very nice tour awaits us. What? Let me get off right now! I'll get off! How is that possible? How are you going to get off? I'll put on that parachute and I'll jump down! Yes, I'll do exactly that! As Mother Goat was trying to stop him from jumping, the wolf had already jumped off the helicopter! I'm coming, Pele! Wait for me! Ah! Oh. Uh, uh, uh. The wolf hangs from the parachute! Oh, I don't have any luck. I really thought it was Pelé. This sculpture looks really like him. It was a great day! Let's go swimming at the Copacabana beach! I also want to play football in the sand! Okay, let's go then! Everybody ready? I'm starting the match. Yes, dear audience. Both teams take the field. Weather conditions and ground are suitable for playing football. After the coin flip, the Brazilian team starts the match with the yellow and green headbands. The opposing team attacks as if they are going to score a goal. Shot and the ball is out, unfortunately. Now the ball is in our team. They move like a storm. Both players went to pass. Pass me the ball! No, no! Pass it to me! I'm waiting! Come on, musician! Do a ground pass! No, no! Pass it to me! Make an air pass! Seeing the wolf was in a strategic position, Musician passed the ball to the wolf. 
The wolf took off, flipped backwards in the air and hit the ball with a Pele kick. Everyone was watching the ball and holding their breath. And go, go, go! Oh my God, what an amazing goal that was! Bravo! Hooray! Wolf, you are number one! Yippee! On a sunny day, the little goats were happily playing by the lake near the town. Hey, look at my boat! It's going very fast! <laughs> Ew, I don't like sailing at all! Mommy, you should have seen the huge boat we built. It struggled in the waves of the Atlantic Ocean. Whoa, it was a rough trip for our boat. Why don't we all sail to New York City in North America this summer? What do you think? Yay! Days went by. Weeks and months flew by. And finally... School was over. Summer vacation had arrived. After finishing the preparations for the cruise, they boarded the ship cheerfully. How will I go all the way now, hmm? Pfft. After a pleasant one-week journey, the ship reached the North American continent. Wow, the buildings are so tall! Look guys, that's Brooklyn Bridge. It was built 150 years ago. There are very tall skyscrapers in New York City. We'll even get to the top of one. I finally reached land! Let's see where these goats are going. My tail! It, it hurts so much! Mother goat and the little goat started sightseeing in the city happily. Their first stop was the American Museum of Natural History. The goat family left the building together and made their way to the Metropolitan Museum of Art, America's largest art museum. Uh, stop! Don't leave me here! <laughs> I'm tired of chasing you! Mother goats and the kids were looking at the oil paintings and sculptures in the museum. Look, Ma! Ballerinas! They're so beautiful! Meanwhile, the wolf was secretly listening to the comments made by the little goats standing in front of another oil painting. Ooh! It must have been done on a very windy day! It looks like the ocean we sailed on! 
<laughs> Ugh, I hate being wet. I'm not a fan of waves. Ah, I'm not so lucky. Where did this water come from now? If the wolf were here, he would definitely want to take this golden statue home. Such a silly wolf. You're right. He would do that for sure. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What kind of statue is this? Is it gold? What am I doing chasing these miserable goats? I have to find a way to get this golden statue, but how? <laughs> hmm? But how? Hmm. Ah! Ow! Ah! What, what's going on? Where do these arrows come from? I, I wasn't so lucky! Help! <laughs> Mother Goat and the kids continue to wander for the rest of the day. Mom, when can we see that amazing view of New York City? Kids, we will view the city atop the 102-story building. From the Empire State Building? Yeah, yeah. It was the tallest building in the world for 40 years after it was built. Of course, then a lot of skyscrapers were built afterwards. They entered the Empire State Building and lined up to take the elevator. I missed it! Mom, brothers, sisters! Hello, little kid. Don't be afraid. I take the other elevator. Come! Come, I bring you there! Who's going to trust you, Bad Wolf? I won't come with you. Why not? I'm trustworthy. In the forest, everybody trusts me. Sure, sure. No, I'm not coming. <laughs> whatever, whatever. Do as you wish. Huh. Musician Goat was a little scared. But if the wolf could take another elevator, he knew he could do the same. All these halls look alike, and I can't find another elevator. I guess I'm lost. Wolf had to face an angry mother goat when he reached the top. Tell me now, you wicked wolf, where is my boy? If not... N no, no, I swear I didn't do anything, I swear! Why should we believe you, Bad Wolf? You're always after us. But it wasn't me this time. I saw him downstairs. I wanted to help, but he refused. I'm saying the truth this time, really. You're coming with us, too. I'm not letting you leave until we find my son. Otherwise, I will show you. Ouch! Ow! Oh, it hurts! Uh, okay, okay, I'll come! After they all went down, they agreed to separate and look for Musician Goat. Where are you, Musician? Where, where are you, little goat? Yoo-hoo! Hoo-hoo! Where are you, son? Musician! Musician! Stylish! Stylish! I'm here! But be quiet! Wolf is chasing me! Let's be careful. Don't be afraid. He's helping us. Mom told Wolf that she would remove all his fur if he didn't find you. <laughs> Mom! 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 We're here! We're here! I'm so glad to see you. I was so scared too. Kiss! 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 Ugh! Wolf, you're disgusting. What are you doing? I have saliva all over me. Okay, we found your brother, so let's go have a picnic in Central Park. Woo Mom, 
Wolf helped us too. Shall we invite him? Hey, Wolf, do you want to come with us for a picnic? Who? who? Me? Uh, do, do you mean this wolf? This wolf? Yes, you silly. <laughs> Whoa! I, I love picnicking. <laughs> Once upon a time, the little goats were happily coming back home from school. Mother goat welcomed them with a tray in her hands. Welcome home, kids. Come, I prepared mixed nuts and fruit juice for you. Yay! 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 Mum, Wolf came with us too. He's having problems in our math class. I'll help him out. Can you also bring some mixed nuts for him, please? I don't understand math at all. Was it three times two makes seven? No, it makes six. No. <sighs> Mom, what is this? It looks like peanuts, but tastes different. Yes, that nut is cashew, which is rich in vitamins. It grows in a few countries around the world. But the largest producer is Vietnam. My mother used to take me to Vietnam. It's a beautiful place. I wish I could go again. Then let's go together and you show us the places you know. What do you think? Okay, let's do it then. Wolf, where are you going? We have to study math. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm coming. <laughs> Everyone, get on the train! Kids, first we're going to Hanoi, Vietnam's capital. Then we'll travel the country by train. Yay! Yay! Uh -oh! uh. There is a place I want you to see before we get on the next train. The Literature Temple, also called Confucius Temple, this is the first national university in Vietnam. Let's walk around in silence. Oh, what's that? Let me see. I didn't realize it would make such a loud sound. <laughs> uh, uh, well, uh, here, here's your clapper. They went to the train station again and got on the train to go to Da Nang, their second stop. First, we'll stop in Da Nang City to see the marble mountains in Dragon Bridge. Dragon Bridge! <laughs> Wolf, don't stick your head out. We're passing through narrow places and you might have an accident. Don't worry, it's fine. As he says this, they all hear a loud crashing sound. They all turn to look at the wolf and see that he's injured and has a fruit basket on his head. Oh, wolf, I told you. Let's look at it from the bright side. We will eat fruit. <laughs> I guess we were right. Let's get ready. Wolf, why don't you sit by the doorway? You can stick your head out the window. Sure, sure, but I'll sit in the middle. Make space. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon's head. Mommy! Help! 
help! Silly wolf! <laughs> They all went to visit the caves around Marble Mountain. Oh, why are these candles burning? Let there be no fire. I will put them out. Poof, poof, poof. Stop, Wolf. What are you doing? They are lighting the way. Oh, mommy, it's dark in here, don't leave me. Genius, hold my hand. Whenever we are with you, you always manage to get into trouble. We're so tired, let's take a good rest. Good morning, kids! Everyone take your hats. We'll take a trip to Mekong Delta. Woohoo! Oh, these, these boats are very small. I wonder if I shouldn't come. Yes, children. We will get on in pairs. Wolf, you ride with Genius. Mm, uh, okay. As the boat slowly floated among the mangroves. Oh, hey, what, what, what was that sound? I, ho I hope it's not a bear. What would a bear be doing here? Don't panic and enjoy the scenery. Uh, uh everything, everything looks the same, Pim. Well, well, hey, hey, what, what's that in the water? Don't worry, it's probably just a fish. Maybe it's the monster of the river that eats wolves. Wolf eater? Don't be silly, there's no such thing. Help! Oh no, the wolf fainted. Wolf, wolf, wake up. It was just a fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these things always happen to me. They came to the Kuchi Tunnels, which were at the end of the Delta trip. Are we going to go underground from here? Yes, guys. Once upon a time, the Vietnamese people had to hide here to protect themselves. There are hidden exits from certain parts of the tunnels. Let's see if you can find them. At the end of the day, they all came out of the tunnels happily. Has anyone seen Wolf? He's not out yet. Genius! Musician! Stylish! Where are you? I think, I think I'm lost. But, but thanks to my superior scent-finding ability, I will soon get out of these tunnels in no time. Here, here, I found a hole. I'm out. <laughs> we, we wolves are such clever animals. Well, I, I can say the smartest, strongest, most handsome of the forest. <laughs> Kids, it's getting dark. I think Wolf is lost. Mom, he's a wolf. He lives in the forest anyway. He'll find his way. Right. Then we'll wait for him at the hotel. Um, uh, this, but this is not my forest. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's getting dark. Help! Help! 
Come and get me!